Here, let's get this inside and I'll show you what's what. Look, Charlie, look, Annie and I will take care of this on our own time. The next time you want to stop by, you don't just show up. Charlie Peck was experiencing loss in this film. Foxglove represents his identity to him. It's been in his family for three generations, and he has a real attachment for it. So the house had to be a character. That's what I knew coming into the movie. Like, when we see that, we got to say, oh, that's Charlie Peck's house. So we're riding all around Vancouver looking. I looked at 70 houses, at least. And it was the same cabin that you see in every movie. And I'm like, man, that's not it. That was the challenge that we all felt as sort of the, you know, the Canadian crew. Because if you can't find this, the movie doesn't happen here. And for me, I thought of Fox Club when I first read this. I remember, like, looking at it all night on the internet and seeing the pond and seeing the house and seeing the ivy and seeing the backyard. I said, this is the perfect house. I remember just going like, Ooh, you know, because it's just such a huge character in the film. And even though it doesn't get a character number on the call sheet, I mean, it's the essence of what this picture is. When Charlie owns the house, he sort of lives a little like a hermit. And when Scott and Annie move in, they start editing out his furniture and interjecting their own into the situation. And it almost becomes a catalyst for Charlie's anger. What happened to the tapestry? The what? It was my gift to you. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, didn't really feel like it was us.